Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Last time we've created those badges air and you know kind of blobby shapes inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications that is using macros and we were working with polar coordinates. This time we will create this kind of spiral thing. And even when it looks very different for from those badges, you will see that we are actually using very similar code. So let's start with talking about the polar coordinate first. So usually when you think about drawing something in Microsoft Word or in another application, we are using what's called the uh, Cartesian coordinate system, which uses the X and Y value. But we can actually do it in a little bit different way. Instead of specifying the X and Y value, we can specify the origin. And for any point, we can say that there is a certain distance from the origin being the R as the radius, and there is a certain angle being the theta. Now we cannot just uh, tell Word to draw a point on the position R and theta. We have to first convert from, from the polar coordinates into the Cartesian coordinates. So we have to get the X and Y value. And we will do it by getting the X value by multiplying the radius times cosine the angle. And for the Y, we will multiply the radius times sine the angle. Now if we keep the radius same and just change the angle, we will actually plot a circle around the around the origin but what happens if we do something different for example if we change the radius based on the angle so if we just set the radius to be angle times some value so in the beginning it will be in the position zero zero and then with the increase when we increase the angle we will actually increase the radius so we will move away from the center like this and what we will get is this spiral. So this is what we are looking for. So let's delete everything and try to see if we can get something like this with the VBA code. So I will stop inking, I will delete everything and I will open the macro code used previously. So open the developer ribbon macros and open the draw polygon macro. And you can see that it's fairly simple. We have the segments, which says the number of segments. And it's also used to define the size of the array which holds all the points. We have the radius, the angle, the X and Y origin. The X and Y origin are kind of random, as is the object color. And there is a loop where we increase the angle. And we use this angle as a cosine function for the radius. So there is this blobby edge. And then we calculate the X and Y position based on the radius and the angle. And of course, we add the X origin and Y origin. And when we calculate all the points, we just draw a new polyline where we set the fill color and line not be visible. So if I run this script, you can see we have kind of batch. So what we can do is we can change the code to set the radius. So we will locate the code to set the radius. I will probably comment this out and set a new code. So I will say that the radius should be some number multiplied by the angle. So angle times some number and we know that the angle right now goes from 0 to 2 pi so to around 6 so maybe times 10 it will go up to 60. If I run this we are getting some kind of spiral. I guess for now we don't want to have the fill visible but we want the line to be fit, uh, visible so we will set the line visibility to 1 but fill visible to 0 and we will also not be setting the fill color but instead we will set the line color and I will probably set the line width or weight to some bigger number maybe one and a half points okay so if I run this again we are getting some kind of spiral the problem is that we are only going from 0 to 360 degrees so around one circle we probably want this spiral to be rotating or getting around the circle multiple times so what we can do is we can add a new variable we will call the variable spins as long and we will define the spins to some number so spins maybe four i want this to be four around the corner around the circle and then we have to adjust the angle calculation so right now we are calculating the angle based on the 360 so 360 is a full circle we, di we divide it by number of segments and multiply by the counter so I can probably multiply the 360 by the number of spins see what happens I, I should probably adjust the this number which is multiplied by the angle to some smaller value maybe like five so if I run this again I don't see anything so let's try to run it one more time still nothing that's kind of strange 
Okay, I see the problem. I've set the spins, not the spin. Spins is four. Okay, and now we have nice looking spiral inside Microsoft Word in basically no time. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.